exactly how much carbon gets sequestered to make one carat of diamonds made from air pollution. Diamonds are amazing because they're essentially carbon negative, using carbon in the atmosphere that's contributing to global warming and compressing it to make a diamond. Commercially mined diamonds and conventionally grown lab diamonds both have environmental impacts. In case of lab diamonds, they do require fossil fuels to grow. That carbon either comes from methane and from petroleum or pure carbon graphite mined from the ground. In the case of commercially mined diamonds, they can use up to 127 gallons of water and disrupt up to 250 tons of earth. Not to mention on average, they also emit 143 pounds of emissions per carat. One carat of Aether Air lab diamonds, it harvests 20 tons of carbon from the atmosphere. How much is 20 tons? I didn't know and I had to look it up. It's a lot. A ton is 27 feet tall, wide, and long. If you can't really imagine what 27 feet looks like, it's the size of a telephone pole. So 20 telephone pole cubic meters of carbon is sequestered from the atmosphere to make one carat. One metric ton is about 2,200 pounds. Just one of these metric cubes weighs as much as 400 bricks. It's a significant amount that's drawn down from the atmosphere, making these diamonds just so cool. This is a really creative approach to addressing the climate crisis while also still making something really beautiful that you'll covet forever.